just did you take with a woman? <laughs> a what? A real woman? There's a difference. Oh, you can't film it? Uh, no, there's no filming inside. So. Okay, no, it's fine. Now, can you just say that with like drama? Yeah, like act like oh, we're trying it's to just force it. Behind closed doors, and it's uh, a game that we just announced, so it's uh, for your eyes only. Cause that's the way things go. That's the way things go. All right. That's okay. I'll, I'll just leave that. Here. Cool. All right. Okay, cool. cool. Thank you, Katie. Have fun. When I was in college over Thanksgiving break, we were snowed in for a day and a half in Meadville, Pennsylvania. Three, four feet of snow closing down I-79. So my buddy Dan and I, we went down to the liquor store. We had to walk through the snow. It took forever to get there. We got a couple boxes of wine. We dug up a door that had been buried in the snow on our front lawn because somebody ripped it off somebody else's door frame. We set it up in the hallway and drew a target on it. And we borrowed our friend Eric's hatchet. And we had a hatchet throwing contest while drinking box wine. And you know what movie was on the big screen in the background? The Double Fucking Dragon. That's what we were And now it's back. And we're gonna play. Tell us, how was the cave? The cave was very interesting. I'm quite excited about it. And, and what, what went on in there? I don't know. I mean, you guys went allowed in, so maybe we got to The cave was very enjoyable. I got to meet Ron Gilbert. I tried not to squeal. I don't think I succeeded. Um, That's good. Where are we going now? Okay, we're going to the Bohemia Interactive booth to speak to the guy who made the Daisy one. Okay, very exciting.
fun to see um, Reggie Filzamine and Shigeru Miyamoto and our other buddies. We're They're your buddies, play, right? And we're going to play a little Smash Bros. No, we're going to play PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. <laughs> I'm going to be a fat princess. I hunger, coward. I hunger, coward.
No. Oh, we okay. that Christ died for our sins according to I'm the recording this guy. Because okay. this guy is really interesting. And, and um... I guess worked on Bioshock 2, they said, and certain, parts, they said, Bioshock certain 2? parts of Half Life 2, which is interesting because some of the things look definitely like. There's, yeah, there's definitely like aesthetically, it looks a lot like, like Half Life 2. And, but, you know, I like the steampunkness. I didn't yeah. like about Bioshock is the fact that I always felt so enclosed and underwater and restricted, and this is like above. Yeah. Um, it looked pretty cool. It did look pretty cool. It looked pretty. And then Again? Oh, it's a it's a fashion hazard. Oh, I see. I, I've never felt more glamorous. It's like a fashion. I got fierce. Oh, good job. It's so me and Dan are going on a field trip. There you are. Walking away from E3 for a little bit, see things differently. See, what's interesting about E3 is like you can go to E3 and you get the badge and you can go inside, but there's so much shenanigans that is going on outside in the lobbies. Oh, they got the paddy wagon all they set got, for tonight. They, yeah. Wow, they really do. I think we're good. It's so bright. There we go. I don't know. You make me look good. Hi, right, so here we are at E3 uh, with Mr. How was E3? Is it exciting for you? Yeah, no, I uh, was really excited to see the Elder Scrolls Online. I like how they have like all the old cities and all the places that used to be the there. Hotel and can, right, and you can go visit like all those like fun places and oh, stuff like yeah. that. Right, exactly. I thought it was interesting when he's like, we haven't had this uh, area for like 15 years, and I was like, wow, I can't believe, 20. yeah, 20, and like, I can't believe that they've been making that game for so long. From Arena. Oh no, that was from Daggerfall. Daggerfall. Yes. Wow, Arena. Wow, that was sad. Time right. for Tomb Raider. I think the new Tomb Raider looks awesome. Yeah, I'm I really do. Girl, though, she's someone you identify with. Absolutely, absolutely. I think the new one will be a lot of fun. I think it's like a like a big open world thing. Or also doing, uh, you have Machinima gig now? I do. Mm -hmm. And, I am and what's that all about? I'm a director for Machinima, and then I'm the voice of Nina on Sanity Not Included. Wow, and where can and where can we see that? On YouTube. Uh, you, you have uh, the your your website. Yes. Uh, well, I just put uh, it's my YouTube channel more or less, my website. Right, right, and you do like reviews and stuff like that. I do. Yeah, I have the Naughty Nerd, which is my gaming site. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. The Naughty Nerd dot com. Yes. Um, .com. The Naughty Nerd. The Naughty Nerd. Naughty Nerd like, goes to something else. Yeah, and so like mine. honestly, if you Google those words, you will find like all kinds of crap. Oh, you like, want to plug your Oh yeah, check. please plug because I have, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh. Just so you know. I'll, I'll fix it. Thank you. Um, on PlayStation, Roku, and now your iPad, you can download the Sugar DVD app, which is like Netflix for adult stuff. And you can get me on Twitter at at meow misty dog. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. No problem. Very exciting. Yeah. All right. There we go. Shut the fuck up! I'm, I'm uh, Peter Rubin. I don't know how to classify myself because I consider myself like an unwinnable in law. What, I mean, what, what do you want to know? I'm Pisces, I like smooth jazz, I like old cars, I like lingless massages. Borderlands 2 co-op, there was a new, uh, a new demo mission, um, which I played with Unwinnable EIC. Before that, I played The Unfinished Swan, which is a new title coming out from Sony this year. It's just a fantastic, sparse, meditative uh, play experience. It's fucking great. This is three, not so much. Here's a weird one. Um, Hawken, which is this kind of free-to-play mech suit shooter. Uh, it's gonna be out. Well, the beta's coming out in December. Um, 
It's weird. Shit. Yo, I played Epic Mickey 2 Electric Boogaloo uh, <laughs> with the man holding the camera. The man I call the human tripod. So we played Epic Mickey 2 Electric Boogaloo together co-op style. Um, and despite playing it on the Wii, and despite being enmeshed in this really non-intuitive boss fight, I would say we had to complete so few things in the first day and a half of the show, I'm gonna give it my coveted Master V3. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I saw a guy smoking a pipe. Like, templatively, like which was the it. worst part of it. Like, making sure, like Captain Haddock and shit. Like, really making sure that people saw him in profile. <laughs> Booth babe eyes can make me sad. Some, <laughs> some are like well aware of the, the calculus and, and kind of what that exchange is, and some are like, it's in the eyes. So.